Hello folks, and welcome back to Venture Survival here on Sea Lanka. And yeah, we're in April. And as we're approaching 6 o'clock, let's check for traffic. We are standing at just under a quarter of a million pounds. So, in last episode, I alluded to about making some significant purchases. So, what we're we'll going to be doing is sell our old drill. Whether or not we we'll sell one of our tractors, most likely, likely defeat Tagri. I am not sure yet. I'll, we should have enough money in mind because. What I want to do is sell the combine and this drill so we can purchase a, another drill, a large tractor, and yeah, drill, tractor, and a brand new combine harvester. So, how much are we going to get for these? Actually, we should just have enough. Or not just leave us left over for a new field, I don't know. So yeah, we've got 281 grand. And now let's go spend that on some new equipment. So first of all, harvesters. And I've been looking around, I looked at like some of the John Deere's and that. And this year's gonna go with one of those, because they really look good. 90 grand. Slight bigger headers than that. However, I've come across this Forscrit E516. This was first built in 1982, so fits with the series. And yeah, we've got a variety of options. And you know what? I'm going to go with blue. Well, blue looks nice, so. Ooh, crawler tracks. I want chunky tires, so... You know what? Let's go with that one. Slight bigger capacity. Turns with capacities and that. It doesn't change all that much, to be honest, but... So yeah, that is 90 grand. And next we'll need to purchase a header. And the good thing about this, not only we get a green header, at 6.7 meters working width. And yeah, so we'll go with... Keep with the blue. Next we'll get a corn header, so we get a... Sunflower header. Or a sunflower and corn header, and... One thing that I want to do is do corn in that. Not for silage or anything. Unless we do some flour. Actually, let's look at the profits. Sexo. Some flour we're going to get around. Right in April. So that's going to be ready to harvest towards the end of the year. So we're looking at around 2400 per, per thousand. Compared to the corn, it's less, but it's more yielding. Actually, I'm thinking, what contracts have we got? It's for sorghum. So for now, let's stick with a sunflower header. If we do corn, or if we get a corn contract popping up later on, then you know what? We'll go with that. So, because yes, I did have a look at some other options than that. Ooh. Actually, would something like that work for us? I wonder, so... We want it like a light blue, so... Ah, oh, 50 grand though. Uh, you know what? So we'll hold off on the headers. Let's purchase a new tractor, so... I want a large tractor net. And we do have some options. So we've got Sigers net and Panthers. I would love to have something like this. 500 horsepower. 
but it's 140 grand and it doesn't come with a three point linkage on the back. Is it the end of the world? No. However, this one with their big SW tires. Yeah, sure, that's five grand for that. That is 86,000. So we've got 84 grand left over. And uh, we need a planter because if we want to do sunflower or that, so ooh, let's go with this. So I'm thinking an orange frame, black cover tops, and white rims. That looks absolutely sick. And at 10 meters working with, so. Yeah, I do think, yeah, we don't have enough money for the headers and that. For the corn or sunflower header. And next we need a new drill, so we can go with the air seam. And again, the thing is, I love the orange and black theme. Yeah, it's almost like Kubota stuff. White piping and white rims so that looks nice so we have a look turn the course off our pickup off so yeah we've got a brand new cedar got a brand new drill good thing about the planter is doesn't need any cultivation and yeah let's turn this on Yes, could do with a header tray on that. But, you know what, I should be fine for now. Because, yeah, we've got a harvesting contract, first of all. On 56. And that is just filled over here. And, yeah, we'll also test the new drill out on 49. That is next to our cluster of fields to north of us and 32 needs cultivating I know we got uh, the rolled in cultivator thing however I'm thinking let's just upgrade it yeah it's good in that but yeah it's five meters a bit of a pain to deal with so we go with another four strip is it four strip Fort Schritt. Not shit, Schritt. I'm not sure actually. But yeah, 5.2 meters. That's a bit. Yeah, that's that's too wild. That's like 1990s, 2000s. But yeah, something like this. 9.4 meters to work with. 300 horsepower requirement, which we've got. Screw it, let's do that. And if we go to our cultivators, that's not worth much, so let's sell that. And yeah, within the first few minutes of the episode, we've spent what 273 grand all in all. And that is on new combines, on new combine, new equipment. Yep, I was tempted to keep the old combine and have two combines on the go. But, yeah. Maybe down the road, purchase a second combine next. But yeah, for now, we'll stick with what we've got. And just, yeah, that is an absolute beaut. So, yeah, this contract shouldn't take us too long. I think we'll acquire a couple of passes, so yeah, let me get his contract's done because we need the money coming in. And then we'll focus on redrilling our fields. And yeah, for the most part, I am thinking of doing some flower that. <coughs> something different. And yeah, it's good to have crop rotation as well, so things like corn and soybean or sunflower soybeans. Wheat and 
core and that is just not not being the core, but have that sort of realism aspect of not doing the same props over and over again, just because they're highly play profitable. Do certain props because it suits crop candor in that way in terms of profits and that time to sell. But yeah, let me get this done. And I'll see you folks in a few minutes once I get this done. And there we go, that is 56 done, and this goes to the green mill just up the road from here, so not too bad. And yeah, we've got 33,000 litres of field, so we should get about 3,000 litres of that in terms of in profit, so yeah, that'll definitely help with getting our money back up after spending a lot of money on new equipment, but it's a must-have necessity, simply put, so let's go and deliver this. And then we'll go on to doing the cultivating. Cultivating and seeding. Well, actually, I'm going to hit the roof. Stop, please. I like it stopping. Oh, phew. That is very close to hitting. So, yeah. Four grand. Yeah, about 3,000 litres, give or take. Let's go and lower that. And now let's hop into the Steiger. And start doing the cultivating and seeing contracts. So, there we go got the Steiger here, so let's do the Cultivate contract first of all, so but yeah, if we went with the other option, it should be fine because it does require a 3-point linkage that doesn't require a 3-point linkage however, the drill does require a 3-point linkage and to be, to be honest, I doubt we're going to need more than 3, 4 horsepower power at the most with this series, so that's contract completed. So cultivating is 32, and that is just up the roof from us. So yeah, it's literally just over here. We are having a massive cultivator. Look where you're going. Bloody hell! Leave the strings. Let's go and fold this. There we go. And yeah, this shouldn't take us too long. Let's whack it into cruise control. As also notice with the gearbox that it's a Manual and what's LS? Oh, so we've got different like, low range and yeah, I think it looks like we've got different ranges of low range and high range, so not too bad. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention to when we were on the highway. But yeah, I think we should get some decent money from these contracts, so... Yeah, about another 5 grand or so, so that leaves us with... 21 grand in the bank afterwards, all said and done. Oh yeah, the only thing I need to sort of really get used to is the... Swivel axe, or like... It's not something I tend to go for normally. And really, if it does become a issue, which I doubt it will, we'll pick up this very quickly. Just need to use this for the cultivating. But yeah, since we're going to be planting sunflower with the planter in that, we can just use the Fiat Tagri if needed. And that's one thing I was like thinking of. Should we sell the Fiat Tagri in that? Because we've got John Deere as our front loader. But if anything, we would sell the John Deere and that, get a better front loader tractor in that, because there are some options for us. So. 
think maybe under a medium or small tractor, so does that have a front loader option? It does. We are eighty grand for that. <coughs> Whilst we can go with something like this. Can't go with the fourteen eighty six or fifteen eighty six because of the years and that. Panic there, so yeah, I think do we go with the better front loader? At the moment I'm happy with how we are. But if, if down the road we need a better front loader tractor then Yeah, there are options for us and we're earning enough money in that. So yeah, what the chickens, we're producing some good eggs from those. So yeah, let's go and get this cultivating contract done. Should take us a couple of minutes. And then we'll start doing the drilling. And there we go, that is the cultivating contract done. Also, we bought two large bags of seed, so... So we did see the possession, so we'll slow down in advance as we're folding up. But yeah, like this cultivator, it's nice, it's rustic. Okay. The thing I do have a problem with this is the gearbox and that. So I get from 4th to 5th, it's a bit sticky in that, but for the most part, it is fine. And do we use this or do we use the Fiat Tagri? I think we'll use the Fiat Tagri for the drill. For the planter, ooh, we can put solid fertilizer in here, which I did not notice. So yeah, we'll go and put some in. Like, like not sure how much we've got. Oh, uh, what's that? Just under a thousand liters. So yeah, then we get the rest of these topped up, and then yeah, we'll head over to 49 to get the last drain contract done. And then that's where I think we'll leave today. It's going to be a short episode of just showcasing equipment we have bought, equipment we have purchased. Oh, luckily that is just, just over here. So yeah, let me get loaded up, and then we'll head over to the fields. So yeah, two thousand five hundred years, and I did purchase a second. Weight. Didn't purchase the heaviest. I think what's this a 1.7 ton? Yeah, it's a 1.7 ton weight. Just because I know it's when this is fully loaded up, even though as it sits, it sits relatively fine. I'm actually going over a bump now, it does like too weedy a little bit, so. Okay, make sure we're selecting Canola. So Canola for 49. And at some point, I am thinking of getting all these fields merged together. Depending on how long the wheat's taking. Is that, is, it, is that wheat or barley? I know it's one of the two. Yeah, wheat. So, how long have you got till that is fully ready to harvest? So, I'm saying we're about two months out. So, do we instead get a cheeky cut of grass and then either do hay or hay, hay or grass bales or do we do silage? I doubt we're gonna do silage because if we do that with these fields over here I'm not gonna bother putting it into the bunker side plant because for one we've done silage very recently and two yeah it just doesn't yeah, it's a bit, it's not cheating in that, but I will have a steady pace, so maybe we do plant grass in, that, in those. So yeah, come June. Yeah, come June. Should be fine. I'm just double checking it is canola for his contract. Yep, it's canola, so yeah. Let's get his last contract done. And then I'll that's where I think we'll leave for today.
And there we go, short work leader, like literally that did not take long at all and for 3,300 pounds? I can't really fault that as I'm looking at more contracts we could do next month. 1100 for soybeans, not doing root crops. Yeah, yeah, after that episode I am avoiding that like the plague. And one thing I want to look at is when is going to be the good price for sunflower. So, peak price is around February or March. And sunflower takes seven months to grow. So, that is, if we plant it now, it's May, June, July, August, September, October, November. However, if we, let's say, we did grass, that pushes the harvest in till January. And then yeah, we can start for a month or two. Yeah, literally at least a month because January is at its one of its weakest price. So even if we see it for two months, we can have to yeah grass for the hay now. The hay, if we need to, we can store the hay now. If we hopefully between now and harvesting, we can get enough money from ah, uh, what's it? Enough money from contracts now to fund the header. Yeah, because how much is the header again if we have a look? So, anything to use mark of interest? No. So, yeah, got tools and headers. So, the sunflower header is ooh, not those ones. Other normal headers, maybe? No, not those. Alright, it's under normal header, so. Yeah, the sunflower header. Yeah, 20 grand, so. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do is. Well, worst case scenario, we can. Sort out the hay situation, and. See, so yeah, I think if we do hay in that. On, oh, yeah, because we've got. Oh, actually, we've got a crop ready to harvest tomorrow. What's that one? That is barley. So, because, yes, yeah, so my thinking of field merging is 24 grand for that. So if we could say harvest the barley, get purchase of field 50, then once, once the wheat is done, because that'd be ready at the same time as the barley. Is it barley? No, it's potatoes. Uh, yeah, you know what? Heck, it will do it. So, need the harvesting equipment for 50. And since there's a small field in that, I think it takes too long. So, yeah, this becomes one big field. And if I want to purchase 87, unless we do silage, I doubt we're going to have enough money. So, yeah, we can get this converted to a big old grass field. And it turns with the fields up north. I'm looking at the crop grow window, so yeah, two oats and sorghum that'll take four months. Potatoes five months. So yeah, unless we because yeah, we're in April, so yeah, it's gonna be around that worst time to sell for anything. So far it's decent. But obviously that takes a while. Soybeans take six months of growth, so we're going to be literally on the opposite end of the scale. And uh, yeah, similar with potatoes, so whatever crop we do. So yeah, you know what? Heck, I'm going to do it this way. So yeah, let's do big old grass fields, get some hay coming in. And then, yeah, I think. Yeah, merge the fields, including extending the boundaries a bit, because, yeah, sure, why not? Actually, I do wonder, go to our own equipment and planters, yeah, that can do certain crop types. I would love to do corn in that, but I can't find any mods now that lets you harvest cotton. That suits the 1980s, because that's, that's the period we're in at the moment. 
And I'm thinking, as we approach the 1990s, I may think of moving on to a different area. No, I mean generally, I think I'll go into a different area. And, yeah, I'm not sure what that would be. Maybe go to Germany and that. You know, halfway over the border from Poland to Germany. Or do you think about moving to the States and that? Because I've heard Michigan, that's becoming a booming area in the farming industry and that, so... Do that, but I think we'll need the capital if you especially go to the states and that. Like, if we're gonna take any of our equipment with us, which in theory I would do, and that's why I sell it here at the local deep, at the local market. Then, as we get to wherever ever in the states or even Germany, and that for the fact, because logistics is gonna be expensive to transport everything so. I think it might be worth just sending everything off here and then purchasing, even if it's the same equipment, brand new in whatever it ever ever at. So, yeah, that, that's a bit of a pond of food for thought. So, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it today. So, next time we will continue on the drilling, get these fields harvested, harvest our grain, and then, yep, from there we'll move on to. Sunflower harvest, get contracts done in the meantime. And yeah, that's where I think we're at, and all things considering, not too half bad an idea. So, yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share as a please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please stir. But for it just to do, Hope you're not stay, but for now, this is for our Emily stream, and I'll see you all very soon.